Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to this tutorial series. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to create your mute command uh, and how to um, have options like uh, time presets uh, or you can set your uh, own custom time or it, uh, you can mute them permanently or quote unquote permanently if you didn't choose any of the presets or you assigned your own uh, time. Uh, and we are also going to be creating an unmute command. So if you mute somebody for some reason and you want to uh, want to unmute him um, you can just uh, unmute him through the command so let's go ahead and go inside our utilities make sure to use one category for commands until we uh, update our slash command handle soon so we're gonna call the file mute.js and then here we're gonna require a couple of stuff from the discord package so let's require a discord package and inside that object we're gonna type client command interaction and then message amen and now we're gonna download a package which is called ms so we go to our terminal we type npm ims and now we require it inside of our our file so const ms equals to require ms pretty simple now we're gonna model the exports we're gonna set the command name to be obviously mute we're gonna set the description to be um, mute the target member. Uh, we're gonna set the permission to be administrator, or you can set it to whatever permission you like. Uh, and then here we're gonna create our options inside of an array. The first option is gonna be obviously target. Description is gonna be select a target. Um, um, it's gonna be type user and it's gonna also be required set to true and now we can copy this basically create an another line and we can change the name to reason reason and the description should be provide a reason like I said guys you can always customize it how much uh, however you like I'm just showing you the foundation of the command the type is going to be stream and it's also going to be required because you don't want your moderators or administrators to just mute somebody for no reason all right and here we're going to create um, our uh, custom time option so type name or uh, yeah we can type the preset actually let's start with the pre presets so uh, name uh, it's going to be preset time uh, the description it's going to be select uh, preset time uh, the type is going to be string because we're going to have options and it's going to also be required set to false this time I'm going to tell you why it's going to be set to false um, so now we're going to create our choices inside of an array the first choice is going to be um, let's say one hour for example you can customize this and the value should be one h that's how the amix package will read time so h stands for hour s stands for seconds just like this so one h means one hour right now we're going to create another choice you can create as many choices as you as you'd like and we're going to set it for one day for example uh, the value it's gonna be uh, 1d and we can create our test uh, test option we can delete that later uh, the name is gonna be five seconds value is gonna be 5s and now we're gonna create our last option uh, the name of it is gonna be called uh, custom time the description is going to be sell or provide a custom time and here we're gonna um, basically put 1s 1h 1 day um, and this is the time formats basically uh, yeah and now we're gonna set this to or the type of it is going to be set to string and it's going to be required set to false so now that we're done with our options let's actually create the 
the command itself so we're gonna async execute we're gonna execute the client and interaction that's how we set it to be in our command handler and we're also gonna require some parameters the client and the command interaction simple and now here we're gonna first of all get the target object so to const target equals to interaction dot options dot get member we're gonna get it from the target option and then we're gonna get time so const time equals to interaction dot options dot get string uh, or actually let's get the reason first so above this const reason equals to interaction dot options dot get member sorry get string and if you want to make the reason uh, if you want to make the reason also optional what you can do is um, go over, go over here and set the reason or the required to false and then here uh, you can type uh, or let's get the reason actually and we can check if there isn't a reason the reason is gonna be no reason specified just like this and now for the time get string we're gonna get the time from uh, first of all our preset time and we're gonna check if there isn't then we're gonna get it from our custom time so type wait let's copy this opposite over here and change the preset time and if there isn't custom time we're gonna set the uh, uh, the mute time to be 14 days um, and now we're gonna go down you can change this also if you want uh, we're gonna go down one more line and here we're gonna check if the mute role exists so go to, go ahead to your server go to uh, the server settings create a role called muted you can copy the ID of it and you need to make sure that in every channel in your discord server the muted role should not have the send permission option it should be set to this uh, uh, the X basically so now if we go to back to Visual Studio Code um, we can check so if exclamation mark interaction dot guild dot roles dot cache dot get so we're gonna try to get it if there isn't uh, then we're gonna return interaction dot follow up we're gonna create an embed inside of our embeds array in message embed we're gonna set the color of it to be red because it's an error then we're gonna set the description we can add an emoji like we usually do. Uh, the mute role does not exist. And now, we, if you go down a couple more lines, uh, we're gonna type await target dot roles dot cache dot um, add. We're gonna add the we can add the ID basically. Um, and now here we're gonna set timeout. We're gonna async and create an error function. Uh, and we're gonna check if target dot uh, dot cache dot has this role. So basically, if you muted somebody and somebody else went into this menu and deleted the, uh, or removed the role from here, we're gonna just return so it doesn't return an error. So return. Uh, and now we're gonna await target dot roles dot remove. We're gonna remove uh, that role, and then over here we're gonna a comma ms and here we're gonna pass in uh, the actual time uh, let's see here it needs to be also uh, just like this uh, and now we're gonna interaction dot follow up embeds we're gonna create a new embed of our, inside of our embeds array we're gonna set the color of it to be uh, green for example I'm gonna set the description. We're gonna add, let's add an emoji first. Uh, let's, for example, take this. And here we're gonna type target has been muted by, or you don't need to buy muted for. Here we're gonna pass in the time, and we can also pass in the ID of that member target. ID and we're gonna make it hidden 
so let's try our command out. So let's restart our boot. Go to the Discord server. So if you see the mute command here, if you don't see it uh, directly, you can just wait a couple of seconds. So let's code and here we can select a reason. Uh, you don't need to, it's optional. So let's not select a reason. Uh, gonna, uh, we can check the preset time, five seconds, for example, or you can set your own custom time and it will tell you one second, one hour, one day, whatever you want. So let's try out our preset. So five seconds. That's it. Let's see, we got an error. Yeah, this shouldn't be cache, guys. So you should remove the cache from here, my fault. So it should be target to throw to add. It's always good to error handle. So let's restart our bot. Now if we type dot or slash mute, target, let's take a preset time, five seconds. And now uh, Lix code has been muted. He already had uh, the role, so. You see now it's removed after five seconds. Let's try it again so you can see it a bit better. Let's go. Um, uh, let's say preset time, five seconds. I see here one, two, three, four, five. And like you see, it uh, removed it. And we can also uh, set our time. So slash mute, let's go um, custom time. Let's set it to be also five seconds. You see here, one, two, three, four, and five. And it should be removed. Uh, so like you see, our mute command is working. Here's the idea, remember? Uh, so now let's create our unmute command for the reason, for example, because we, you can also uh, put it over here for, for example, uh, yeah the reason over here now if we restart our boat and we're not gonna provide a reason okay we're gonna leave it be and we're also not gonna provide a time so here lakes code has been muted for 14 days uh, and um, this is the id for reason no reason specified because we didn't specify a reason now let's create our unmute command so you go ahead and create your file on mute.js and we're gonna also be requiring a couple of stuff from the Discord package. So, client, command interaction, and message embed. Require Discord.js. Alright, and here we're gonna model the exports. The name of the command is gonna be set to unmute. The description is gonna be set to uh, unmute the target member and uh, the permission is going to be set to add administrator or you can set it to whatever you want and now the options we got also we all only going to have one option so options set an array name target description it's going to be select a target uh, it's gonna be the type of it is gonna be user and uh, it's gonna be required set to true right now we're gonna uh, execute a client interaction then we're gonna get our parameters client And now here we're gonna get the target so const target equals to interaction dot options dot get member from the target option and um, we're gonna check if target uh, or exclamation mark if target dot roles dot cache dot has let's copy the uh, mute id just like this, uh, we're gonna return. Uh, let's follow up actually. Interaction dot follow up. Embed new message. Embed set the color to be sorry red. Set the description to be. Let's put 
put in emoji first. The member is not muted. And now we're gonna go down one more line and uh, we're gonna remove the role from the actual member uh, if, it, if that member has it. Uh, so uh, target dot roles dot remove. Here we're gonna pass in that uh, role ID and we're gonna we can just copy paste this over here. Um, remove the return and it's gonna be green. We're gonna set an emoji. I'm gonna type. It has to be back ticks. I'm gonna type target has been unmuted. All right, let's restart our bot now. If you go to the Discord, you see the bot is still muted. Uh, like you see here, our unmute commands. We're gonna. Uh, tag that bot or select them as a target, unmute, and now you see that uh, the role has been removed, so he is now unmuted. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next episode.